I'm going to talk about war here. We have an idea of warfare that is basically warfare for civilizations. Large groups, armies, they lined up, they mash together and until one of them breaks. And it takes a lot of organization and centralization before you can line up your troops like that and actually get the battlefields. What traditional warfare is more like is, um, well, there's two types. There's display and there's raiding. So again, it's all due to basically the difficulty of centralized control. So it's really hard in traditional so-called primitive societies to order someone to do something. You don't have the levers of coercion. So it's a far more egalitarian and disorganized um, affair. So you get two types of warfare. You get display. Display is like a battlefield. You have everybody in their most brilliant plumage or whatever decor they have, war paint, and it's, it's deliberate. You want to look impressive and they line up and it's really aggressive, impressive. Maybe you can see some of it in the haka of um, the Maori. There's traces of the old ways. But, and this is the important thing, there is actual very little violence generally in those situations. It's about showing how strong you are, how easily you could crush this group, but you don't want to do it just right now. And there's a sort of intricate and almost instinctive um, advancing and giving way so that no one is clearly humiliated and no one is overwhelmingly winning, but everyone can show just how strong they are. Even if you move a bit forward and you get the more centralization or even, f say, feudal systems where you can coerce the soldiers forward, um, that's basically, you need agriculture before you get that type of organization. Even in those situations, very few people will actually, everybody's waiting for the person next to them to rush in and then they can follow, maybe. So even deadly warfare, there's a lot of hanging around, forward, back, forward, back, maybe someone jumps in, maybe they get everyone to follow them, maybe they die and then they, nobody wants to follow them. And that kind of dynamic, as I say, it's only when you really get modern, strong, not modern, but empire, the sort of the professional trained army that, that obeys orders, that you get the real clashes that we associate on the battlefields today. No, so that's one type of warfare, display, uh, which shades into the proper battlefields uh, later. The second one is raiding. Unlike the other one, here you're discreet. You don't draw attention to yourself. And it's not a group of equals confronting each other. It's, this is the main form of traditional warfare. You come in a group, you rush in to some undefended area or less defended area, you find someone separated from the main group, kill them, burn, steal, and get out. And this is the most common form of actual violent warfare in history. That's how wars were done, or wars, pre-wars. So basically, you never would have a fair battle of equals. You'd have displays of equals, and battles of large groups against small ones. And if you can reproduce this dynamic with your players, it could really get interesting. Now, maybe they're not used to it. Maybe they, if they're displaying, they might be willing to rush forward. So I would recommend something like starting with everybody. <clears throat> there is much higher level than them. They're the beginners, the boys or girls, depending on the, if your culture is um, well sexist or not. And everyone else is a much higher level. And then they sort of notice that no one really 
comes to blows, or if there is a bullet coming to blows, they tend to separate pretty quickly. So they're not going to rush in and start decking out with much higher level uh, NPCs, since neither is the other one. So you can have this tense battle, maybe with a few blows here and there, a spear that falls short or that doesn't fall short, and interactions like that, a very tense situation that looks as if it might turn into a bloodbath. Because remember, everyone there could easily kill them, they're a much higher level, and then doesn't. And then you get the raiding thing. Now, the raiding from the raider is easy to explain, um, you do. You get in there. What's tricky and what they have to understand is that if there's a strong opposition, they run. And if they get raided, they run. So that's the sort of habits you need to get into them, uh, get them into if you want to go back to the old-fashioned, more realistic, less centralized form of warfare. <clears throat> and uh, I'll explain in a later video that actually the instincts for this are within us. And this, we can bring them out as characters in a very interesting way. Thank you for listening.